To do our best work, we need three things. Clear goals, time to focus, and a distraction-free workspace. Hi, I'm Matthew Encina, and in this video I'll share my perfect productive workspace which I use for writing, editing, and designing. I'll also share a few of the tools and processes I use to stay focused. I've been working in this office for about eight years. While it was beautiful at first, over time I accumulated tons of stuff and let it get a bit messy. I felt like I needed a refresh. Luckily, a new office in the building opened up, so I took the opportunity to start with a clean canvas and design it from the ground up. For my job as the chief content officer at the future, my time is split doing two things, making content and managing the team. So I wanted a space that would allow me to do deep work and incorporate systems to help me focus on the most important day-to-day -day tasks. To start the office design process, I blocked out the space in my favorite 3D program. I know, it's super nerdy. This helped me figure out the general layout before committing to any big efforts or purchases. Personally, I like dark, minimal spaces, so I decided to paint two of the walls dark gray, which I color matched to the other areas of the building. Once the space was cleaned out and painted, I began getting furniture and accessories to meet my essential needs. To start off, I needed the perfect desk. I've previously used a standing desk for five years and it's helped me with my posture and relieved my back pain. So now I was looking for an upgrade that would look handsome in my new space. Luckily, the good people over at Ergon Office had sent me the Sway Desk. It's a motorized sit-stand desk that's made of solid walnut and has black detailed finishes. It gives me a lot of real estate to work on and has programmable settings so I can lock it in the optimal height for both sitting and standing. When I'm doing management tasks like reviewing work or emailing, I prefer to be standing. This adds a little more immediacy to the task and gives me a reason to get up several times a day. When it's time to create and do some critical thinking, I move into a seated position. To sit comfortably for long sprints, I use the Herman Miller Aeron Chair. This allows me to forget about my surroundings and dive into some deep work. To keep me focused, I use a project management tool called Notion. In it, I have a custom document that I use to track my big goals, as well as daily tasks week to week. For the rest of the space, I wanted to keep a consistent aesthetic. So I tried to match the rest of my accessories to pair with the walnut wood of my desk and the dark paint on my walls. To maximize my desk space, I have this Ergon Office desk shelf to elevate my monitor and use this vertical dock for my MacBook Pro. On my desk, I have an Apple Magic Keyboard, Logitech MX2S mouse, and a set of accessories from Grovemade to bring it all together. I also use this Native Union dock to charge my iPhone when it's not in use. Because I work on video content, monitoring audio is very important to me. So I got the set of audio engine speakers, which sound amazing and connects to my laptop through Bluetooth. One of the key accessories on my desktop is this Echo Spot, which I use to set timers for my critical thinking work. If you've seen my other video on productivity, you know I break up my day into 90 minute focus sprints of uninterrupted work. During that time, I set a sprint goal and I block myself off from all distractions. I close the door, turn off notifications and emails, and set a timer for 90 minutes of deep work. While having focus is very important, little breaks throughout the day are just as valuable. I designed this cozy corner to help me relax and add a little warmth to the space. This corner of my office is especially designed for decompression. A big comfy Barcelona chair, surrounded by beautiful green indoor plants. The round rug on the floor helps to visually anchor the open area and the organic shape of the plants break up the straight lines in the room. This corner helps me rest my brain and collect my thoughts in between sprints of work. To promote mental clarity, I wanted to keep the space visually minimal. But with all the devices I use, come many, many wires. 
To tame this mess, I routed everything underneath and behind the desk using these adhesive cable clips and velcro ties. For power, I mounted a power strip underneath my desk using this 3M frame adhesive and screwed in an additional power strip on the side for easy access. To keep my desktop clutter free, I installed this matching drawer to have quick access to my writing tools. To connect my MacBook to my setup, I've hidden this USB-C hub behind my monitor and attached it using the same 3M adhesive strip. I also mounted this catch-all by Grovemade, which I used to hang my keys and empty my pockets as I get in. To the side of my desk, I have a vintage coat rack to hang my jackets and to hold my backpack. Across the room, I built this industrial-style storage unit from IKEA. In it, I store the books I reference often, ideas of the past, and a few boxes for things I rarely access. To light my space, I was looking for a flexible system that would adjust as the day transitions into night. To accomplish this, I invested in a set of Philips Hue lights. I used these play lights behind my monitor and added these bulbs in the lamps I had in the room. The cool thing about this system is that I can access a wide range of colors through the app and control it using Alexa voice commands through the Echo Spot on my desk. This gives me plenty of ambient lighting, which I can adjust for cool temperatures during the day for focus and can shift into warm temperatures at night when I'm winding down. And that's my perfect productive workspace. There's a lot of empty space in the room for potential shelving or decorations, but for now, I thought I'd keep it minimal and live in the space a bit before I add anything more. If you're interested in anything featured here, I've left links for you in the description. And if you wanna see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. I also wanna thank Ergon Office, Grovemade, and OrbitKey for sending me their goods to help me optimize my space. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. With that out of the way, it's time to get back to work.